What social customs do we need to retire? Cashiers and other jobs not being allowed to sit down because it makes them look lazy. These are rules made by people who sit all day. Though it looks like this custom is fading away during the pandemic, dot but how about we stop glorifying us being model employees by showing up to work even while sick? I was at a retailer for 14 years, and I don't have enough fingers and toes to count how many times I used to see managers and supervisors dragging themselves to work while sick to please their superiors. In January 2020, I ended up getting the flu from a co-worker that decided it would impress the store manager if she still showed up while sick with the flu. That culture went away real quick when we started getting COVID cases in the store I was at, Dot and I too ended up getting a mild case of COVID. I've called out any time in the past when I felt sick, Dot and I will continue to do so as I normally did. As great as this sounds, workplaces are slowly going back to, show up sick. Or at least, I've been seeing more people in my area showing up to work sick. They explain it away as, it's not COVID, and they're okay to work. Having to purchase gifts for extended family that you cannot afford because it is Christmas or another holiday. Oh god yes. Last year because of COVID I only saw my parents and it saved me a fortune not buying 20 meaningless gifts for extended family I see once a year. Worshipping celebrities. I don't get it and it seems to just create tons of problems. Pants. Shorts without pockets. Expensive funerals. The funeral industry is insane. ETA, my first award. Thank you. Yeah dude exactly. I don't know about you guys but I'm getting my ashes spread somewhere badass and calling it a day. Sure cremation ain't cheap either but much better than a stupid casket and funeral service. The customer is always right, being used as an excuse to be a effing asshole. The full phrase is, the customer is always right in matters of taste. It's meant to mean that if someone wants to buy a product, you sell them it, who are you to judge if they are willing to pay for a tartan painted car? Edit. Many people are pointing out that the original term is in fact, the customer is always right. Through further research I found that there is a movement to recoin the phrase to the above to show what the phrase was meant to mean, as many asshole customers think it's about them demand and zero hour minimum wage workers to bend over and kiss their feet at their command. Till. Discussing salary with co-workers should no longer be taboo. Edit. Thanks for the award. They don't want the workers to realize how screwed they are. If the workforce is free to discuss what they're being paid, the next thing they might decide collectively is that they want to be paid more. Being nice to customers that act pooty. Got fired from a bar for doing this, and I'd do it again. You can't talk to me, the gatekeeper of the booze, like that you stupid effing dog C. Edit. Just to explain what happened that night. Worked at a bar for six months a couple years ago now. I had quit uni and moved to a rural-ish town in northern England for work, from NZ originally. Was one of three full-time bartenders and was considered one of their better workers, made friends of everyone etc. One night, closing on my own, tipsy couple comes in one hour from closing. I serve them and move on about cleaning the entire bar so the next guy doesn't have to. The couple sat at the bar in a spot we called, the no-no spot, cause we can't see you behind the taps and therefore won't automatically serve you. We were 10 from full closing then the wife says something about expecting auto service. I say yeah sorry, JSYK we close in 10 and you'll have to leave 10 minutes after that. She said something snarky about how we're a speed bar etc. They were drunk. I said sorry but I'll keep cleaning and stop serving if you're gonna be rude. The husband sat there drunk and slumping, slurs out, wanker. You tossbot. So all I said was, well you ain't getting served then, there's the door, your name's on the knob. I'm a big Anthrax fan, Bello is a great bassist, they requested a manager so I got them one who also asked them to leave as well and wrote a note saying if someone calls I did nothing wrong. GM didn't care, next morning I was gone. As a plus the other staff refused to work unless I was rehired. GM had a nightmare night and asked me back and I refused smiling face. All the bars in town are on the same street, GM and bar manager from a five-star hotel I had met before and wanted to poach me, offered me a job the day after I was fired. Paid twice as much plus tips and gratuity. That because someone is, family, you should force yourself to spend time with them and be nice and respectful, no matter what kind of person they are or how they treat you. 
This goes along with the enabling acceptance of that's just how they are, rather than condemning poor behavior choices. That somehow the concept of maturing means you have to give up hobbies that are seen as childish. Me and my Play-Doh pasta maker agree. I think we would all be so much happier with a four-day work week and three-day weekend. My current job is four tens. At first I was bummed, still am to a degree, that I don't have three days off in a row. But I worked you, wed, fry, sat and I gotta say always being at most two days away from a day off from work has been amazing. You always feel close to the weekend. Plus my Saturdays are so easy I would choose to take off any other day before taking off Saturday unless it was for a trip or I had specific plans that are on a Saturday. Sure a three-day weekend would be amazing for mini vacations etc, but I try to see the bright side of everything and really enjoy my schedule now. That not having Facebook, Instagram, or other social media profiles is different, or isolationist in some way. Skirts are okay in a workplace, but shorts are not. This was a pretty common business attire, link. Edit, several of my high school teachers and university lecturers would rock this look. Sleep deprivation pride. I don't know why my co-workers are boasting that they slept four hours last night. When I worked in security, I had a co-worker who stayed for three back-to-back -back shifts, 24 hours, at minimum wage and then drove themselves home because their relief guy didn't show up. This wasn't a high security situation and the manager could have found someone else if the guard had refused to stay. I had so many moments working in security where I put my foot down for my health, sanity, and self-respect and said, yeah, I'm not doing that for minimum wage. Celebrities being treated like gods and people caring about what they name their babies rather than what's being taught to their kids or what's going on in our government. People care more about the lives of strangers, celebs, influencers or any famous persona, than their own lives and the people within. It's baffling and tragic. Having all the fun prints and decor and what not only for kids, babies, nurseries. I want a dinosaur on my pillowcase saying, R-A-W-R-R-R, -R -R, over some FN daisies every time. You can have, dinosaur, link. Expensive funerals. Environment doesn't like this. Just dump me somewhere into the forest, animals might eat it, I don't care. Caste system in India. It's 21st century, and about 200 million, untouchable. People in India cannot have a normal life, normal career, they cannot even have justice in case a crime is committed against them. This is important and I'm worried it'll just slip through. Just seems inhuman in a modern world to split people based on something they can't control. Stop questioning when we are having children. It's none of anyone's business. Putting our jobs before our personal lives. Edit. I took the day off work after I posted this, because why not? Edit 2. Just wanted to share this quote. Each and every one of us has been born into a given historical reality, ruled by particular norms and values, and managed by a unique economic and political system. We take this reality for granted, thinking it is natural, inevitable and immutable. We forget that our world was created by an accidental chain of events, and that history shaped not only our technology, politics and society, but also our thoughts, fears and dreams. The cold hand of the past emerges from the grave of our ancestors, grips us by the neck and directs our gaze towards a single future. We have felt that grip from the moment we were born, so we assume that it is a natural and inescapable part of who we are. Therefore we seldom try to shake ourselves free, and envision alternative futures. Yuval Noah Harari Setting healthy boundaries is so important, especially in a professional relationship. We work to live, we don't live to work. If you have a day off, take that day off and enjoy yourself because workplaces will constantly try to take advantage of your time and burn you out. One thing I always tell my supervisors is that asterisk, if you're not at your very best, both you and our clients will suffer, so take your days off and disconnect from work entirely, you have a right to do that. Boys don't cry. You're too old for bullpoo. You're never too old for college, university, to change careers, to learn a new skill or to enjoy something new. It's your life. Thank you. I'm about to change careers at 46 after graduating from my second degree earlier this year. I also like Lego which I'm not too old for, at least not yet. The Garda tradition at weddings. I'll never unsee my brother reaching up his wife's dress in front of three generations of family. I refused to do the Garda and bouquet toss at my wedding and my grandma did not understand my reasoning. 
instead I did a thing where the couple who had been together the longest got the bouquet and so my husband's neighbors who were like 100 got it. Over the top gender reveals parties. I'm European and I just don't get this gender reveal party at all, like none of that whole thing. Giving greeting cards for every single event imaginable. Why pay $5 to give someone a piece of paper that will get thrown out the next day? I'd rather you give me $5 and skip the card. Not talking about salary. My job didn't want us talking about salary. Turns out the guy the first was training who they hired, had less experience than me and was making about twice my salary. And they wonder why I lost my poo in front of everyone and quit on the spot. Diamond rings for engagements, they are a scam, and especially the three-month salary custom is absurd. Pretty sure the three-month thing started as a marketing campaign by jewelers. Not in the sense of ads telling everyone that's what it should be but more like store staff being told to advise potential customers that three-month salary was customary and what the girlfriend would be expecting. It got around and people still think that's the custom. Making your kids hug, kiss people they aren't comfortable with. When I was a kid, I went to a preschool connected to a church, and one day they took us to a nursing home. They had a dozen or so seniors lined up sitting in chairs, and we were asked to walk down the line and give each one a hug, a kiss, and a prayer. I don't remember exactly how I reacted, but I remember refusing to do it and being scolded. Butoshiating relationships with fulfillment and suffering to being single. Additionally, not referring to your spouse as a ball and chain or otherwise disparaging marriage. Asking, how are you today? And expecting the only socially acceptable answer. Horrible, that's why I'm in the emergency room. I have this cough, but I came to work anyway, because I'm so dedicated to my career. Usually it's more like, I vomited this morning and feel like poo, but I can't afford to miss even a single day of work. Plastic, plastic everywhere. Our food wrapped in plastic. Drinks encased in plastics. Ah. Tipping. Jobs should pay their employees enough. Asking women when they are going to have kids. Implying that they are bad for not wanting them. Plus, you'll be put in awkward position when they respond they have infertility issues or recently had a loss. I never shied, shied. Away from telling people the truth. 40-hour work weeks, and having to show up to the office, only good thing that came of COVID. Don't worry, the 40-hour work week is on its way out. It's being replaced by the 60-hour work week. The endless requirement of having to buy your partner, family, or friends gifts. Birthdays, Valentines, Easter, anniversaries, Christmas. I went shopping with one friend around December when he was buying his girlfriend some things and after spending over 200 pounds he was still worried that he hadn't got her enough. Respect your elders. I must respect the neighbor who used to beat his wife, she left, and used to beat his dog, it was taken away, and openly hates Asians. Just because he's 76 years old, I must respect him. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.